obviously disappointed, uh, but not unexpected. You know, this is Illinois, and uh, when you have a, a Supreme Court where the last two justices that were elected uh, benefited greatly from uh, political contributions uh, from the governor, uh, it's really hard to be realistically expect uh, any kind of a, a, a an outcome that would uh, not make him happy. So um, we're disappointed, but but uh, kind of the odds have always been against us. What what kind of appeals are, are possible? In this? Well, we the Illinois Supreme Court is the uh, final arbiter of the law in Illinois, and that's what we were challenging. Uh, there are uh, another avenue, of course, that uh, on uh, whether we've got a, an unbiased hearing or not. I don't know. That's up to my attorney, and and uh, you know we'll discuss that next week. Representative, since you quote unquote went there, what is stopping Republicans from collecting a, a big donation? Well, first of all, um, I guess we would need uh, somebody who's willing to spend hundreds of millions of dollars on political campaigns, and that that hasn't happened for a number of years. Uh, you know, we don't have the ability to gerrymander districts. Uh, the Democrats have drawn the state into uh, districts that favor their candidates greatly. And uh, you know, so we're at a great disadvantage. This is nation leading legislation. This law is the first of its kind in the country. This is a uh, part of Governor Prisker's uh, treating Illinois like a Petri dish in his uh, quest to uh, run for president. You know, we've seen it on every social issue that he can attack you know, from uh, closing our uh, go coal and gas fire generators, uh, shutting this state down, Second Amendment, attack on our Second Amendment rights, the, the uh, First Amendment rights that were just, uh, he had a TRO issued against him going after crisis pregnancy centers. Every issue that the radical left will find attractive in a presidential primary, Governor Prisker is enforced right here in Illinois. And because he has a supermajority in the House and the Senate and now control of the Illinois Supreme Court, we are going to suffer uh, for his political aspirations. Well, the occasional Highland Park is just the price we pay for the Second Amendment. Agree or disagree, and why? I disagree. I think that uh, the Highland Park, there were red flags uh, on the shooter. Uh, they're now going after his father, who uh, got him access to that weapon and he should never have had it. The law was in place, and uh, now his family is going to suffer for that. We've got a Supreme Court, which, the understatement, leans left, and you said at the outset the ruling was not unexpected. I mean, is this on the level of, uh, in other news, water's wet? Or was there any element of surprise or suspense? Well, again, I don't like to prejudge a, a, a lawsuit. This was a, a passion of ours. We felt very strongly that this law needed to be challenged in the Illinois court system. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we didn't get the result we wanted, but I think it also exposes this court for what it is. I, I've always fought for people. I've always fought for our rights. I stand, you know, stand up for, for the individual rights. And this was a, a, a challenge that we felt very strongly and very passionately about. Uh, Perry Lewin is a FFL and Decatur joined along, and we had several hundred people that wanted to be a part of this. So this was uh, this this was our way of standing up for the rights of people in Illinois, and uh, you you know that's I, I'll continue to do that 